Hello everyone. Let me start by saying just a few words about my own background. I am Ram Krishna, pursuing B.Tech in Civil Engineering from University of Lucknow. As you can see on the screen, our topic today is permeable pavement. During the next few minutes, please pay attention to the topic. By the end of this talk, you will be familiar with what the permeable pavement is. My first point concerns about introduction of permeable pavement. It allows rainwater to pass through it. It is made up of pervious concrete. What is pervious concrete? Pervious concrete is made using large aggregates with little to no fine aggregates. Concrete paste then coats the aggregate and allows water to pass through the concrete slab. It is also called as thirsty concrete and it is environmental friendly too. There are some types of permeable pavement given in our slide. First is permeable concrete pavement. The second one is permeable asphalt concrete. It has a age of more than 20 years. Its sub base is open graded stone beds. Its depth of stone beds can be 18 to 36 inches approx. And the third one, porous paver block. Porous pavers present a surface with holes which can be filled with vegetation or aggregate depending upon the need. On the other hand, permeable pavers present a solid surface but allow natural drainage. These are the benefits of permeable pavement. It increases the amount of storm water infiltration. It improves the quality of water that enters surface waters and groundwater. Permeable pavement can be provided as Sustainable Urban Drainage Systems SUDs. What are SUDs? It is a collection of water management practices that aim to align modern drainage system with natural water processes. Following are the benefits of SUDs. It provides effective management of water. It reduces pressure on existing systems. It improves quality of water. It proves to be better for people and environment. And it increases property values. These are the applications of permeable pavement. It can be used in car parkings, in the side drains also, in the swimming pool decks and in sidewalks. What are the materials required for permeable concrete pavement? These are as follows. Portland Pozzolona Cement PPC, coarse aggregate, fly ash, fine aggregates, sand, potable water. So have a, have a look on Portland Pozzolona Cement as per IS 14891 part 1 1991. Its advantages are as follows. It reduces corrosion. It is resistant to alkali aggregate reaction. What is the alkali aggregate reaction? It is a chemical reaction between alkali and PPC and reactive minerals in aggregate. When moisture is taken, this reaction forms hygroscopic gel that absorbs water and expands causing significant expansion and characteristic cracking of concrete which results in soundness of cement. It reduces heat and cracking. It reduces the global warming and mitigates sulphate attack. Coarse aggregates. The minimum percentage of voids range from 32 to 33 percent. It requires minimum water for lubrication. It gives good workability but the development of bond is poor. Fly ash. It is a wastage from thermal power plants. Large amount of fly ash is emitted by power plants which cannot be disposed easily. Thus it has become applicable in civil engineering. Fine aggregates. Basically sand worn from the land or the marine environment. While pervious concrete is considered a no fines concrete, a small percentage of fine particles can be added to increase the compressive strength of the pervious concrete mix. Fine aggregate can be classified as follows. Pit sand, which is coarse sand, river sand, manufactured sand. 
moving on to the next slide full infiltration it refers to a system where all water goes through top mix to flow into the soil underneath it's particularly useful in wet areas that don't need to collect the rainwater partial infiltration it involves a semi permeable barrier beneath top mix that acts as a drainage system into nearby sewers or waterways it's useful when the layer beneath top mix can't pass the water through on its own full attenuation it uses a capture system to store all the water that flows through top mix this option is most useful in areas with unclean water and highly recycling rates since the captured water can be reused later this is the system a total infiltration system b partial infiltration and system c full attenuation so these are the installation steps of permeable concrete pavement it include the following processes step 1 subgrade and subbase preparation step 2 batching and mixing step 3 transportation of goods step 4 placement of goods step 5 joint placement like expansion joint construction joint etc step 6 finishing step 7 curing and then it is open to traffic these are some images for the installation of permeable concrete pavement continued these are some maintenance operations which can be routine which include leaf blower truck sweeping etc which can be periodic these are due to temperature changes mainly in winter street sweepers which can be mechanical or vacuum annual these are used for deep cleaning use of chemicals and pressure washing others like oil and grease stains remover this is the case study of karanjit node panvel the study area is karanjit karanjit is a panchayat village located in the panvel tehsil of raigarh district of maharashtra india it is one of the developing villages at a faster pace its approximate population is 3642 its latitude is 18.9733 degree north and longitude is 73.1099 degree east karanjit area consists of marshy land with ground water at a lesser depth this area is facing drainage problems due to water logging and also has a low water supply components m20 gear of concrete water cement ratio coarse aggregate and cement to the coarse aggregate ratio as 0.45 20 mm and 1 ratio 4 respectively the objectives are to understand the traffic pattern means traffic volume study to study rainfall data of karanjit area and to design pervious concrete pavement using suitable is code traffic volume study the traffic volume survey is carried out to check whether the existing roads are of low volume it is done by manual count method mainly p cars are studies the study was carried out for 15 minutes time interval as you can see the image the total average of pcu per hour was 378.156 and the graphical representation of rainfall is given as bar chart the infiltration rate of 312.64 inches per hour was recorded these were the design inputs which were given during the case study these are the values recorded this is the typical cross section of designed pavement these are the conclusion from the case study The rainfall data implies that the Karanjit area has average rainfall above 1000 mm hence pervious pavement can be installed 
टोटल एवरेज पी सी यू पर आर द स्टडी एरियाज इंटरनल रोड इज थ्री सेवेंटी नाइन पी सी यू पर आर विच दैट द एरिया हैज़ लो ट्रैफिक वॉल्यूम विच इज ऑब्जर्व टू बी सूटेबल फॉर परवियस कॉन्क्रीट पेवमेंट द परवियस पेवमेंट डिजाइन एडोप्टेड विथ टू हंड्रेड एम एम थिकनेस वॉज फाउंड टू बी सेफ द कॉस्ट कंपेरिजन ऑफ नॉर्मल कॉन्क्रीट ऑफ एम ट्वेंटी ग्रेड एंड परवियस कॉन्क्रीट वॉज कैरीड आउट इट वॉज फाउंड दैट देयर वॉज अ कंसिडरेबल सेविंग इन अमाउंट अबाउट ट्वेंटी नाइन रुपीज पर मीटर स्क्वायर और वन थर्टी नाइन रुपीज पर मीटर स्क्वायर और एटीन रुपीज पर फीट स्क्वायर फॉर कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ वन मीटर इंटू वन मीटर इंटू जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव मीटर साइज ऑफ पेवमेंट दिस इज द केस स्टडी टू विच वॉज कैरीड आउट इन निर्मा यूनिवर्सिटी अहमदाबाद द पी सी पी वॉच विच इज परमेबल कॉन्क्रीट पेवमेंट वॉज कंस्ट्रक्टेड एट निर्मा यूनिवर्सिटी कैंपस अहमदाबाद इंडिया फॉर स्टडी पर्पज द साइज ऑफ पी सी पी स्ट्रेस वॉज थ्री मीटर इंटू टेन मीटर द इन्फिल्ट्रेशन रेट वॉज मेजर्ड एट डिफरेंट इंटरवेल्स टू डिटरमाइन इफ देयर वॉज क्लॉकिंग इन द पी सी पी बेस्ड ऑन द रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस इन्वेस्टिगेशन इट इज सीन दैट देर इज सक्सेसफुल ड्रेनेज परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द पी सी पी ऑर्डिनरी पोर्टलैंड सीमेंट फिफ्टी थ्री गेट एज पर इंडियन स्पेसिफिकेशन वॉज यूज फॉर दिस इन्वेस्टिगेशन द स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी ऑफ ओ पी सी सीमेंट वॉज थ्री पॉइंट वन फाइव अदर प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ओ पी सी वर टेस्टेड एज पर आई एस वन टू टू सिक्स नाइन विच इंक्लूड्स फाइननेस साउंडनेस एंड कंप्रेसिव स्ट्रेंथ लोकली अवेलेबल फोर पॉइंट सेवन फाइव एम एम टू टेन एम एम कोर्स एग्रीगेट्स वर यूज द परकुलेशन वेल अलॉन्ग विद एक्सकेवेटेड परवियस कॉन्क्रीट पेवमेंट स्ट्रेच द साइज ऑफ द परकुलेशन वेल वॉज टू पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव इंटू फाइव पॉइंट थ्री मीटर स्क्वायर आफ्टर एक्सकेवेशन द एक्सकेवेटेड एरिया ऑफ द पेवमेंट इज क्लीन एंड वाटर इज स्प्रेड ऑन द सर्फेस फॉर कॉम्पैक्शन कॉम्पैक्शन ऑफ द पेवमेंट हैज बिन डन विद द हेल्प ऑफ मैनुअल रोलर अवेलेबल एट निर्मा यूनिवर्सिटी कैंपस फॉर द कलेक्शन ऑफ रेन वाटर एट बेस लेवल परफोलेटेड पाइप्स ऑफ टू हंड्रेड एम एम डायमीटर आर प्रोवाइडेड दीज आर द टेबल्स विच वर रिकॉर्डेड ड्यूरिंग द केस स्टडी द फर्स्ट टेबल गिवज रिजल्ट ऑफ कंपेरिजन ऑफ प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ कन्वेंशनल कॉन्क्रीट एंड परवियस कॉन्क्रीट द वॉइड रेशियो इन कन्वेंशनल कॉन्क्रीट वॉज थ्री परसेंट टू फाइव परसेंट एंड इन परवियस कॉन्क्रीट फिफ्टीन परसेंट टू फोर्टी परसेंट द कंप्रेसिव स्ट्रेंथ इन कन्वेंशनल कॉन्क्रीट वॉज फाउंड टू बी ट्वेंटी मेगा पासकल टू फिफ्टी मेगा पासकल बट इन परवियस कॉन्क्रीट इट वॉज फाइव मेगा पासकल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव मेगा पासकल एज यू कैन सी द डेंसिटीज द स्टोरेज ऑफ वाटर इन पेकुलेशन वेल्स these are the physical properties of coarse aggregate in table 2 moving on to the conclusion it is recommended that for achieving 20% void ratio of permeable concrete cement content 375 kg per meter cube cement aggregate ratio 1 ratio 3.97 water cement ratio 0.4 size of coarse aggregate 4.75 mm to 10 mm are taken for the development of pervious concrete mixture vacuum suction method is the best maintenance method amongst other methods it is highly recommended that pervious concrete is useful for the water locked areas in city swimming pool deck parking area and walking path in gardens but you as you know if there is a thing that has got some pros then it will have some cons these are the limitations of permeable concrete pavement the technology isn't quite ready for wide scale deployment tarmac notes that the permeable surface is prone to damage from freezing water and therefore not suitable for use in sub zero temperatures furthermore the product is not suitable for use on high volume roadways that bear heavy loads although it can be used on shoulder lanes residential streets pedestrian and bike paths and parking lots these are the references given and articles thank you have a nice day